Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a great week and thank you for tuning into this video. So today we're going to be working on this three quarter length pants. I got them for a dollar. Can you believe it? One dollar, they were on sale and I decided I'd get two of them because it was too good a deal. But as you can see, the pants are quite oversized on me. I can't wear them like this. So I decided I'd turn them into a paper bag waist skirt. I really love how this turned out. I think the waist detail is super cute. The tie is super cute too, I guess. And I really love the fact that you're not able to tell that this is a pair of pants. So I did only use the pants legs for this video and I had to use two pairs. So in case you have a pair of pants legs lying around for whatever reason, grab them and let's get right into DIYing. So a moment of silence for my ruler. I sat on it and broke it. Oh my god. Anyway, broken or not, she still works. Works. So all I'm doing is I'm drawing a straight line and not cutting through the straight line because I decided I wanted to make the shorts shorter. So I did get shorts from this DIY and I got two new pairs because as I said, I worked on two pairs of pants. So that's the first pair. I do have a thing I do to revamp shorts. In case you want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. So now we have these two pants legs and we're going to open them up along the seam just to make sure we're maximum the fabric available so I just cut it along the seam I also got rid of the surged end because I did not need it and I did the same thing for the other pant leg so for this DIY I only used pant legs because I wanted to show you guys what to do with a bunch of pant legs you might have lying around after making shorts from jeans or something of the sort I feel like they're usually useless if you get shorts from jeans and you just have all this leg that you can't use so hopefully this DIY helps you with that so basically Basically all I did was I cut off the second pair of legs from my second pair of pants and in total I got four pieces and this is what will make our skirt. So now I'm just taking my hip measurement and dividing that by four. I got 10.5 and now I'm going to align two pieces of fabric with the right sides kissing. Make sure you're aligning that stitch strip. I think that's what they call it. And then I just pin the fabric together and drew a straight line on one end and from that straight line you're going to measure your 10.5. So for me the hip measurement divided by four was 10.5 whatever your measurement is measure that from the straight line and don't worry if your pant leg curves a bit bodies are curved so sometimes when you cut too high up it does curve a bit just go with it I promise you it's going to look okay once everything's nice and sewn so all I did was I drew a straight line to join the dots I also pinned the two fabrics together that way they wouldn't move around as I was cutting them out so I just cut along the lines I I just drew and I ended up with two pieces of fabric. I also took out the pins because their job was done, their contract had ended and I also straightened off the bottom of my pieces because I wanted it to look nice and neat, as neat as I possibly could make it. So I just drew a straight line, cut off the excess bit of fabric and then using this piece I traced this onto the other one. That way I'd have two pieces that were exactly the same. So I just traced it on top of the other, cut off the excess fabric and now we have two pieces for our skirt. So I'm going to repeat this with the other pair of pants legs and you're going to get four pieces in total flip them upside down and then put them right sides kissing so now all you're going to do is basically align the edges pin them together that way you can make a skirt so as you saw I just put two pieces pin them together took the other two pieces pin them together and this was a fun process it was such an easy project and I hope you guys try it honestly it was so easy to do and the result is fabulous so as you can see we now have two pieces that are pinned together and now we're going to join them all together to make one big skirt. So you have four pieces in total and you're going to match up everything. That way your skirt is nice and equal and the reason we divided by four is because we're working with quarters in this project and you want everything to look nice and symmetrical so I do advise you divide by four. You can divide by two as well if you're only using two pieces. It's totally up to you. So as you can see after everything is nice and pinned the final edge that needs to be pinned down is what will complete the skirt and it's going to be a full circle and now you can see the skirt taking shape. 
after everything is nice and pinned you're going to sew along all the edges with pins on them this way your skirt will be complete and everything will be nice and shut nothing will be gaping and showing your business to the world so you're going to have four edges to sew down if you're using four pieces of fabric and I just did a basic straight stitch no actually I did a zigzag stitch so I did a zigzag stitch mostly because my denim was stretchy denim and also your girls got in a bit thicker so yeah the skirt had to accommodate everything and I did not want this breaking apart so I used this exact stitch and if your denim has no stretch just use a straight stitch and you'll be fine always make sure you back stitch when you end your sewing because back stitching is what will take you to heaven it's a requirement and now as you can see I have my edges sewn down I also overlocked the edge and now you're going to measure an elastic band around your waist and then you're going to sew it shut that way you have a complete loop and this is a loop that you'll put at the top of your skirt to create that paper bag effect so as you can see I maintained the hem of the jeans as the hem of my skirt because I wanted my skirt to look nice and profesh and now all I'm doing is I'm marking the four points on my elastic that way I can distribute it evenly when I'm attaching it to my skirt so you definitely want to do this because if you distribute the elastic unevenly it's going to bunch up a lot in one spot and another spot's not going to have enough elastic bunching up and it's just going to look awkward and weird so to avoid that divide your elastic in fours and I just used pins to mark my four points you can use chalk if you're using black elastic I just wanted to be able to see my points after my elastic was nice and marked off I'm aligning each pin with a stitch strip a stitch strip is basically what you're seeing with a bulky seam it's basically what runs on the sides of your jeans and it's quite a difficult word to say but all I'm doing is I'm pinning the pin to the stitch strip because this is the center point of my skirt if that makes sense so just align the pins in place and as you can see I'm also hemming the top of the skirt as I attach the elastic so this is a bit of a cumbersome process mostly because you need to fold in the hem attach the elastic and pin it together it's time consuming but it's not hard to do and after you've pinned down your four points you're also going to roll in the top of the fabric and then pin it in place this is essentially going to help you gather the fabric and also hem the top of the skirt as well as you're about to see so when sewing elastic start off by doing your back stitch and then you're going to mark the center point you had on your elastic pull it really taut and we're sewing with a straight stitch because we are stretching the elastic so we don't need to do a zigzag stitch for this and as you can see I'm just really pulling on my fabric doing my stitch I also made sure to take out my pins because in this case I did not want to break my needle or create puckers in my elastic and I just took out my pins and pulled that thing to infinity and beyond and I just sewed the hell out of it so you really want to make sure you're attaching your finger to one point and stretching it until the elastic evenly gathers the fabric around that point and as you can see we now have ruffles starting to form and I decided to do three rows of this beautiful stitch so it's basically just a straight stitch and I did one on both sides and one in the middle so I had three in total and as you can see this is now sped up I'm just really pulling Pulling my elastic and sewing her down that way she's not disrespecting me she's not talking to any in-laws she's in her place so I checked her girl so just so 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 take your time with this there's no rush just make sure everything is nice and stretched and you'll be good to go one tip I'd give you for sewing with elastic is to make sure you really stretch the elastic out mostly because you don't want the fabric gathering unevenly because trust me that is not going to look good on the outside of your skirt so just make sure you're really stretching her out and I promise you everything's going to look perfect make sure to always back stitch when you end the stitching on one row and as you can see we have three rows of stitching and on the outside the fabric is nice and gathered so you can definitely use thicker elastic it's just a matter of preference I wanted to use a bit of a thinner elastic since my
my skirt is short and after this was done this is what the skirt looks like I really love how this turned out I think it looks super cute even without the belt you can wear this with a crop top or a really tight top and just tuck it in and let the paper bag detail shine girl but since I had a lot of scraps of fabric from this project I decided I'd make a belt for my skirt and this was really easy to do so basically from the scraps of fabric I cut out about 2.5 inches wide strips so I got as many of these as I could because I did want my tie to be a good length and after I drawn out my strip of 2.5 inches wide I just cut it off and I did this for each and every scrap of fabric so this did take a minute but after that was done I had scraps that I could join together to form a tie so now all I'm doing is I'm joining them the right sides together and pinning them in place that way I can sew across those points and join it into one long strip so every point with pins you're going to sew a straight stitch along that point and you're going to end up with one long piece of fabric so I just did a basic straight stitch nothing fancy schmancy just a basic straight stitch that's what the straight stitch looked like and as you can see we have a very very long piece of tie so now we're going to move on to making it look nice and decent and all I did was I folded in the sides to meet in the middle and then I folded that in half to form one thin strip and this was basically basically going to be my tie so I just did a straight stitch along the edge of this and as you can see I'm just tucking in that excess fabric making sure all the fraying is inside and not coming out and then I got to a point where it was a bit lumpy I did sew down that way I wouldn't break my needle if you're going too fast and you sew over a lump it has happened to me I have broken a couple of needles so just slow down and once you're over the hump just continue sewing with your normal speed this took no time at all and after that I had this beautiful tie that could now go around the waist and cinch in everything that way everything looks nice and cinched so after that was done you are done with your paper bag waist belted beautiful skirt I really love this project I think it's such a fun take on pant legs because pant legs are that guy you never talk to and then when you talk to them you realize they're actually really cool so I feel like this is such a cool project and I hope you do try it there's so much fabric being thrown out to waste and that breaks my heart because thrifting and flipping is the name of the game that you should be into I think it's really fun and it's easy on the environment and it looks good too because you can customize things to fit you just right anyway I'm gonna go now have a nap because I have not slept in a few days so wish me luck and I hopefully will see you in my next video until then bye guys